apparently it's supremely freezing and frigid and cold in the Midwest right now, so I wanted to do some stories that all fall into that. They're all pretty weird. Police are asking criminals not to commit crimes because it's too cold in Missouri. As bone-chilling chi temperatures grip many parts of the country, police are making a, a comical plea for criminals to take a break during the frigid weather, please. No doubt they did this on their Facebook page. Oh, yes, they did. <laughs> Warrensburg Police Department in Missouri posted the request on their Facebook page. So, um, this is my impression of the Warrensburg uh, police officer that posted this. So, uh, we're asking a favor, uh, at least for the next three days, uh, if you guys can keep up, you can, can you keep the criminalizing to a minimum, please? It is, like, really cold out. So, you know, do yourself and us a favor. Please stay inside. You know, be nice to one another if you could. Watch reruns of maybe Say Yes to the Dress. You know, we hear from the firefighters, it's a really good show. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Hilarious. I think that's really funny, by the way. Uh, um, it's nice. To, I always make fun of the cops for going on Facebook these days and Twitter, but I gotta say, that was very funny. Um, it would have been funnier if it was like, you know, why don't you guys just do something like a good citizen should do, like stay home and watch the Ted Bundy uh, documentary. That's a, that's a good way to spend your time. Temperatures plunged as low as minus 26 in North Dakota with a wind chill as low as minus 62 in Minnesota. It was nearly that cold in Wisconsin and Illinois. Governors in these states declared emergencies as the worst of the cold weather they've seen in so long. Chicago, minus 28. Wind chills to minus 50. Detroit, minus 15. Wind chills to minus 40. Crazy, crazy stuff right here. It's so cold in parts of the Midwest, they can't even deliver beer. Which is my segue into the next little story. Don't you like how I did that so smoothly? Yeah, I should be paid for this. Ice cold beer is great. Frozen beer is not okay. That's why with a historic, historic deep freeze gripping the Midwest, beer deliveries are on hold in some parts of the region. Temperatures are so low that the beer is freezing. Around 32 or slightly lower, depending on the alcohol content. It's freezing on the trucks before it can even be delivered. Most of the folks up north are not even delivering says the president of the Minnesota Beer Wholesalers Association. Most distributors are not delivering in the Twin Cities. Then they go on to tell you how cold it's been. The only alternative, trans transporting beer in a heated truck, is enough to make even a, a casual beer drinker gag. But until the cold subsides, it's the only way for beer to get delivered. So do you, it, Wow, they got to deliver it in heated trucks? That's pretty crazy. I don't want warm beer. I spent years drinking warm beer that I kept in my trunk because I was... Um, it was well, I went to high school. It's officially too cold for Excelsior's ice castles. Oh, another story that Jonesy just whips out related to the cold. What a theme. I'm a pro. It turns out even too cold for ice castles in Minnesota. Unbelievable. I never heard of these ice castles. Maybe you've been there. On Tuesday, ice castles in Excelsior announced it will temporarily close Wednesday through Thursday due to the dangerously cold temperatures and the wind chills that are ramping around the state. The health and safety of our guests and our staff is our number one priority, says the CEO of the Ice Castle. How would you like to be the CEO of an Ice Castle? That sounds like a goddamn dream come true. It's like, oh, I wanted to be the CEO of um, Disneyland, but I'll take the second best thing, which is the CEO of an Ice Castle. The CEO said no one should be outdoors for an extended amount of time in sub-zero temperatures. Apparently, all you need to know to be a CEO of an Ice Castle is when it's too damn cold to leave the house. That seems pretty easy to me. I feel like I should have this job. Those who have already purchased tickets to this ice castle, by the way, which may be one of you listening to Weird AF News. I don't know if you're living up there in Minneapolis, but maybe you got a, maybe you got plans to bring your kids to the ice castles because you're cruel. Uh, but you'll get a full refund, and you'll have the opportunity to reschedule your visit. You know what you can do? You can actually save money and just have a snowball fight on the streets. I find that to be a fun time to spend, the, spend frigid temperatures, but that's just me, and I'm broke. The decision to close for a couple days this week, this castle, was made in the best interest of our guests and our staffs. Ice castles depends on the cold weather to operate, so it's rare that we close because of cold temperatures. But the forecasted freezing temperatures would not only make for a poor experience for our guests, it could make for a dangerous one. Ooh, they're monitoring the weather in this situation. They may open up the castle any day now, so keep, <laughs> keep abreast of that. I will keep you abreast of that. No, I will not keep you abreast.